Hello, crucifixes and crab legs. My name is TV Skyne, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3, where you join me just out scouring the galaxy for any new stuff uh, to sort of calm down for a bit after having endured the indignity of having to be exposed to Kai Leng once again. Who, oh, good lord. I, I'm sure I'll have more rant to say about him later, but I really cannot, cannot begin to stress enough. Okay, well... With all of that scanning out of the way, I guess the next thing to do is go visit the Citadel. And see if anyone has any new conversations for me. And try very hard to not accidentally... Are you oh. brave? Hello. Uh, the great Commander Shepard. <laughs> and me without my autograph book. Oh no, wait, fuck, god damn it, no! Follow me. Uh, I was so focused on not trying not to activate the Citadel DLC that I accidentally so activated the Aria DLC. Shepherd. Well, you know what? <laughs> this is probably an okay time for it. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Change your plans. We're doing the Aria DLC. <laughs> There are too many eyes and ears in purgatory. Gotta do it at some point. I assume this is about retaking Omega. This is about your war, Shepard. Cerberus controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships. We're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. The leader of the Cerberus occupation is General Oleg Petrovsky. He's the one who ousted me. Don't know him. The elusive man's top military strategist and best kept secret. But all you really need to know is that he's a merciless bastard. Ah, yes, this extremely accomplished, very is like super good, great, fantastic super guy who is just, oh yeah, no, we just forgot to mention. It's like, I'm not making fun. It's a classic storytelling trope of like, okay, ah, yes, there's this guy who's, we need to establish his menace. So he's like, oh no, yeah, he's like, oh, he's like military genius and like tactician and uh, one of the best in his entire field. He's just been, because of the reasons he's been not there, uh, quiet, secret, he's just like, just you just haven't had a reason to meet him yet kind of thing. Petrovsky's army is massive, and he's got Omega lock tight. The information stops there. So, you're winging it? Not at all. There are secrets on Omega only I know. Secrets that will provide us a foothold. I can tell you this. Petrovsky's invasion was precise and ruthless. He'll stop at nothing to win. Sounds familiar. Shepard, I know my reputation. I know I'm hated. I ruled Omega with an iron fist. But the people were free. No, they weren't. Their lives were theirs. No, they weren't. I preserved that. No, you didn't. This man took all that away, and he is going to pay. When Omega is mine again, I'll give you everything. I've got ships, mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep. So you'll have to leave the Normandy and its crew behind. My crew are professionals. Let's just say... I want you all to myself. I mean, all you had to do was ask. Bray will provide coordinates to my fleet. Oh, and while we're still in the Citadel, please be discreet. Fleet is hidden in this system. Signal me when you're on your way. Ari and I will meet you on the command ship. <laughs> Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about. But no, yeah, Arya's whole thing about yes, yes, of course, I was 
completely on top of the pile and I accrued all the resources and the power for myself. But everyone else was free, which is like if it, we visited Omega in the other in in the last game and it's like, no, 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 honey. Like, oh, people's lives were their own. Yeah, no, like that's not when you live in poverty. That's not what that's like. That's not how that works. <laughs> when you're stuck in poverty under the heel of an authoritarian ruler who rules with mob violence, like with not even the pretense of democracy to try and sort of give people some agency over their own life. No, the people were free. Their lives were their own. Like, I wasn't so bad. Yes, you were. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, bitch? <laughs> like, motherfucker. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about dumb very dumb um and i don't i also get the sense that like yeah no the game doesn't quite believe aria either i i get the sense that bioware aren't like trying to set her up as like the oh but i was i was yes i was an authoritarian ruler but i was not so bad i don't get the sense that they're trying to do that but it is one of those things that i've seen people take away from this conversation like that take away from from aria as a character is that like no yeah but like omega wasn't so bad as like it's better than being under the heels of the citadel authority it was like mm, citadel authority also bad but aria not good <laughs> Und confirm. And most of our vessels are transports with limited firepower. We're not here to win a space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through their line. So, you've commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. Let me guess. You're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then my forces join the fun. A lot could go wrong. The assault's been planned for weeks, Shepard. For now, just sit back. Let me steer. Not the best start to our partnership, Arya. How things begin isn't nearly as important as how they end. Yeah, they're flirting, in case you can't tell. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. I do have to wonder where the fuck is Serper is getting that many people. Yay, torture. That's right. Nice and slow. Be patient. Get as close as you can. Fire! That's not patience. straight for the station. We're being hailed by the general. Should be interesting. Put him through. Aria, I knew this had to be you. You'll never make it. Pull it off now. You're barking up the wrong tree, general. But maybe you can convince my partner. Commander Shepard, I've heard great things about you. I doubt the elusive man thinks of me that highly. I do my own research, Commander. A pity you left, Cerberus. We all sabotage ourselves in nefarious ways. Oh my god. Perhaps deep down you fear success. Oh my god, and shut Aria the fuck up. I think seeing you will unsettle me. Now it's my turn. I see you've gone to the trouble of augmenting that ship with Solaris armoring. An exorbitant waste. I've made improvements to Omega's outer defenses. My cannons will cut through you at will. He sounds pretty confident. Yeah, he does. So again, I say turn back. Let's see what you've got, Oleg. End transmission. 
It's like, oh, yeah. perhaps deep down you'll fare success. Set preset course. We're ramming the station. Everyone brace for impact. What? Omega's kinetic barrier will stop my ships from landing. I equipped this cruiser with disruptors to take it out on impact. Don't worry. We'll probably survive the crash. So what they're trying to do with Oleg there, so sort of very transparently, is they're, like, immediately trying to establish, like, um... A, like, an antagonistic relationship with you, like, where he's, like, very sort of mocked. Oh, perhaps deep down, you fair success. Wait, that's not... They didn't reuse the beginning of... Guess that asshole really did upgrade Omega's outer defenses. So it would seem. I think they reused some assets from the intro of Mass Effect 2 there. Huh. Good reuse, though. Like... If that indeed is the case, it, it would it would be silly not to, frankly. But, whee! But no, what they're trying to set up with Oleg is like immediately get like set up a rapport where you have a dynamic with him, right? Where he's like, oh yes, I'm the very superior British accent of general, very intellectual and smart, and also very arrogant and a bit of a prick. That uh, so you'll hate me instantly, and it's very effective. Like I hate him instantly. Like instantly, I hate him. What's our target? Need to hit the defense system station. Shut down Omega's outer defense so my ships can land. If we don't, they'll be blown to bits like we were. Got it. <laughs> Shooting like a cowboy. This is what I brought you for. Ground assault. In combat, what you say goes. Makes sense. We play to our strengths. I know where we need to go, and you can get us there. Okay, let's move. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Reeved the hell up. The difficulty is at the... Oh, well, that explains why it was so easy. I thought they died. I, 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 the ones with shields usually take two shots, even from my best guns. But okay, uh, that that won't that won't really trigger until they respawn. So until, or rather, until new enemies spawn, the difficulty won't alter. So okay, well, probably should have checked that. Remembered that before I went on. Okay, I guess I'll take a I'll guess I'll take an easy introductory I'm fight. Hot to cut the main exit. Use the controls to lower the blast door. Aria to fleet. You alive out there? Barely. Holding our own with the Cerberus fleet, but Omega's defenses are shredding us. Keep my army intact, Gerald. That is your only job. Ground team, report in. Ray, you there? Affirmative. But only six pods made it. Various entry points. Rally them to you, then head for the rendezvous hangar. Start prepping for our ships to land. Let's hustle. Every minute, more of my ships get obliterated out there. General notice, power fluctuations continuing to stabilize sectors 3, 14, and 15 are set for mandatory shutdown. All personnel to be reassigned. Are those numbers important? It's been a very long time since I played through this DLC. I usually don't bother with it. Okay, what do we got? I, s I see a little dead man on his feet. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, shall we do the boom bang go? Well, it's clearly disabled him pretty badly what with all the screaming. Getting close. Those cannons have to be stopped. Yeah, sure, but also 
What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. The next area needs to be repressurized, initiating. Uh, okay, over there. Hello. Uh, I guess I'll just wait for you to come closer then. Change to something a little longer range. What your are you? Okay, probably a little less reckless there. Good. Ah, oh, shit, Nemesis. Okay. Thank God they stopped attacking right at the moment when the repressurization was complete. That's very convenient. That's just very, very nice of them. That like the moment they stop attacking. We were lucky. Press on. Oh, you're, you're here all of a sudden. Ah, god damn it. Ah, you and your stupid little dodge rolls. Ooh, there you are! I was looking for you. Yeah, that figures. Combat advice, Arya. Don't walk in front of the turrets. Clear. Get to the controls. Any more things for me to find? Okay, well, let's turn off the cannons then. Jarl, defenses are down. Signal the surviving ships to converge on the rendezvous point. Those cannons still seem to be kind of shooting. Oh, okay, there we go. Hi. Approach trajectories plotted. We're already queuing up. Bray, come in. Status. Rendezvous site secured. Hangar doors enabled. We'll have them open soon. Need them open now. My birds are coming in. Prep for reception. What exactly is this rendezvous point? That's where we're headed. It's a bunker I established on D-Deck for my more sensitive operations. It's utterly impenetrable with its own secret hangar and dock. Yeah. Independent power source, life support, munitions. You'll see. I'm sure he hasn't heard us say that. Deploy to D-Deck. Wow, good info, Sakaria. <laughs> Say the plans out loud in the middle of enemy territory where they control all the security cameras. Of course he placed... Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, okay, they're trying a little too hard. <laughs> he placed just like... Oh, he... The general knows where we're going. Then no time for sightseeing. He's there like with a chest and area, oh, yes, so I anticipated this move. Now you have walked into my trap. <laughs> we'll take the far exit. I've locked down the way we came. <laughs> oh god, they're going real hard on this guy. Oh, that's genuinely very funny. 
like I said, it's like, and it's also, they don't have time to establish him in subtle ways, right? Like, there, there isn't time. Alert. Alert. Defense system station compromised. Within, within the context of this DLC to establish him as, like, a more compelling villain, they just ha kind of have to make him a fucking cartoon character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the chest set. That was very good. I forgot about that. I forgot about you. I didn't pay. I didn't pay attention much to him when I. I don't think I played this DLC more than twice. The Omega Skyline. Now I feel like I'm back. It's strange. What are those things in the distance? Some kind of force field. That's not good. You don't say. Huh. Guess Some so. Ah, there's a fucking shield generator. Okay. We're getting close to the rendezvous. Let's move. Do do do. It just, it's just, it's just such a, uh, I mean, it is, it's kind of camp, like, the way <laughs> he's being cast. Like, oh, I am British and intellectual, I do plans and strategies. But it, 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 it is also a little. Looks like a gang tag. The talents, they used to deface my property, too. It is a little much. Um, Omega has been compromised. All servers personnel report to stations. Because, like, they're, they're trying very hard to establish him as, like, a credible, dangerous threat. But the problem is, it kind of makes Arya look like a dumbass. <laughs> um, that, like, that she lost to this man. Again. Hmm. Could be evidence of a resistance. Might be useful. Like, this fucking... Goatee having chess master pretending. Oh, yes, you are a worthy foundry, Commander Shepard. Like that shit. Like that she got kicked out of Omega by him just makes her look bad. Thank you for sacrificing yourself to the force field for me. Ooh. Knew that would happen. Next, take them out. Advanced assassin bots. Cool. A rempart mech. Which gun do I have? Uh, you could probably swap to your. Those mechs are coming through the force field. Well, that was less of a challenge than I feared. Still, you piece of shit. The game reminding us that Arya is one of the few characters who's allowed to swear at will. And yeah, not really tough, they're just... I guess maybe on insanity they can take more shots. I think they're probably supposed to be fragile, though. Poor idiot. Something tells me these force fields are going to be a problem. Do you think? Not this time. Come here. Again, like... The DLC so far is just not doing a great job of portraying Arya... ...as... Letting you in on a secret. Down the ladder. As someone who's like as dangerous and as like volatile and cool and badass as she was in the previous game. Hmm. 
because it's it's so obsessed with giving her one-liners all the time, which is like, which is not really. Who's there? Show yourself. Which wasn't really why she was cool. Spirits, look who's back, Arya Talok. Nyrene, what the hell are you doing here? Ma'am? Playing cat and mouse, mostly. Just trying to stay alive. If it wasn't for these tunnels... Ma'am? My tunnels. I'm sure glad I showed them to you. Ma'am? If you hadn't, I'd be dead or locked up by now. Ma'am? Arya doesn't trust easily. I guess you're a good friend. I don't know. Are we, Arya? Ma'am? Shepard, this is Nyrene Kandros, ex Turian military. We go way back. Ma'am? I've got a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. <clears throat> Follow us, we'll get you to safety. I'll do my best. Ready to put that gun to good use? You have no idea how ready. Ma'am? I like, um, I like Nyrene, though. Let's, let's, let's give her some abilities. <laughs> This is one of the things that's really nice about this DLC. We get to see a Turian without the fucking armor on. Um, and a female Turian at that. They're kind of rare in the rest of the game. So why are you back, Arya? To reclaim what's mine. Left something behind, I take it. Not something. Everything. Oh, right. That's a shotgun, isn't it? Oh, good. Now I have to apply all my goddamn ammo all over again. There we go. The hood is a good fit for the Turian face. What's the fleet status? Still landing inside the bunker. But no, yeah, like the hood is a really good fit. I would love to do that. Uh, this way. Okay, let's just... Let's just use a... Oh my god, fuck. Okay. Ah, over there. Hello. Give me like a second, would you? I'm a little busy at the moment. Give him a pull. Give him a push. Okay, well, he's dead. Yeah. Cool. Great. That's fantastic. Okay. Ma'am. Wow, that's an epic battle. I really wish I could fight in it. <laughs> I don't. It's way too many enemies. Oh, 
Oi! What a way to go. It's weird to shoot this cutscene. It's weird to shoot this like the landing at Normandy, right? Because it sort of casts the Serper soldiers as sympathetic. Right, like there, like where they're slowly bleeding out and dying, like... Oh no, how tragic that the evil eugenicist space terrorist died. Framing, it's a, it's a... It's a weird thing to frame it that way. Hey, Arya stepping over one of the dead, do you get it? She's ruthless, do you get it? It's not bad visual storytelling at all. I know this place is built like a fortress, but is it safe now that the general's clued in? Yeah. I feel like a sitting duck here. I have no intention of sitting around, and you both should know I assume nothing. And on that front, Nyreen, you left Omega fairly angry with me. I wasn't aware you'd returned. Explain yourself. The truth is, I never left. In fact, I went to great lengths to keep from you. I'm not easily duped. Well done. But why? I just couldn't leave. Considering all this, I wish I had. Well, you always said I'd be the death of you. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You're Irene has involved. Military training. We can put her to good use. You're so quick to trust, huh, Shepard? And Irene never approved of Omega's, what did you call it? Moral bankruptcy? Are you willing to help defend it now? You'll find me very willing to liberate this station. Your combat skills seem a little rusty, but you're still a good shot. See my duty, officer. Bray, keep an eye on her. Will do. All right, Shepard, we need to move fast. I'm itching for revenge. If you think I'm gonna let you carve a bloody path through this campaign, you're sadly mistaken. And if you think you're going to change me, well, you're welcome to try. Once up and running, this bunker will provide recon and secret access to much of the station. I'd appreciate it if you would quickly eyeball operations, see that things are setting up smoothly. What will you be doing? Checking in on my forces. I need to know how many survived the assault before I can plan the attack. It won't take long. Join me at the command console when you're ready. Yay, new hub area. That's a big gun. So the, like, the way that the framing is set up here is like, the game is trying to play into the idea that, oh, no, no, yeah, Arya is brutal and Arya is dangerous and like, oh, you should like, like, so that's, that's why they shot the whole thing, like, the, like a landing in Normandy sequence is because they want to emphasize that Arya's weapons and her methods are like, oh, like renegade, right? Like, that's sort of what Arya is standing in for is that she is a super duper renegade, renegade person who is very renegade um, in like the moral split. The brutalist of the brutal, the willingest of the willing to do the hard things and blah, blah, blah. Um, and Nyreen is set up essentially as, as like the, the paragon. Don't answer soon. Finally. Where are you? You don't know? Seriously? Look, just check your Omni tool for the station schematics. What do you mean your Omni tool is broken? Ruck, that's not good. I... Right. Not helping. Sorry. Look, I'll just talk you back to the bunker, okay? Keep an eye out for panels. I'll cross-reference with my station schematics to try and figure out where you are. I... What? Ruck, I can't find a single reference to that location. No, I'm not joking. There's nothing remotely funny about this. Only you could get lost like that. I don't even know how you do it. Hey, I'm just saying, as skills go, that one's pretty impressive. Do, 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 do. 
lost that shipment. You mean if we hadn't lost that ship and those people? Well, yeah, that too. Commander. Can we trigger another little conversation with Ruck and the girlfriend? Everything we had is prepped and ready. It's not much. We could ask the scouts to keep an eye out for medical supplies. I thought about it, but I doubt Bray would go for that. You talk to the scouts. I'll handle Bray. As how are we looking? All systems operational. Full Omega schematics coming online now. Let's take a look. I see. Shepard, those force fields we saw. The general has them set up everywhere. He's controlling access across the station. What are these dark areas? Many sections of Omega are powered down. I'm betting power is being siphoned to run those force fields. Find the source, priority one. And we'll need a full tactical assessment of all Cerberus positions. I'll get on it. Shepard, we have work to do. Our losses were significant. We can't field an army large enough to face down Cerberus. And we need to find allies. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> We've confirmed there is a Merc gang that's still active. The Talons are resisting the occupation. Not my first choice, but they're all we've got. Then it's time to play diplomat. And if the current leader won't join us, the next one will. Sorry to interrupt. What is it? I turned away for a second to offload supplies when I looked back. You lost her. Well, I... We're locked down. She's gotta be here somewhere. This bunker has secret access points to other parts of the station. Unfortunately, Nyrene knows them. Damn it, Bray. If I wasn't already short on manpower. We have to focus on getting the Talons on board. Shepard, I'll meet you at the armory exit when you're ready to go. But don't keep me waiting. What's your history with this gang? Some mutually beneficial dealings and some occasional violence. The Talons weren't even a blip on our radar until the plague in 2185. Your little war against the other gangs left a vacuum. Not my intention. Their leader, Darius, took advantage of the situation and carved the Talons a bigger piece of the local drug trade. Are we enlisting them because they're good or because we need numbers? I their love cannon shot. fodder, we're using them because they're the only game in town. You're gonna let them know that? Relax, Shepard. This is how it works on Omega. Just let me do the talking and... Commander, Cerberus forces are scrambling. Looks like an attack on the Talons. Oh, hey. Looks like we fight our way through Cerberus to get to them. Let's move. Ah, oh, that's a strange coincidence that they were going to attack right at that moment. It's almost as though Mass Effect's primary game loop is combat, <laughs> and, they, <laughs> and it doesn't really have any other way to do anything. That's odd. Why would they leave crates of red sand lying around like this? Maybe they have something more important going on. Not Darius. Profit is the only thing that matters to him. Anything else can burn. There's so many parts of this game where they really want you to not have to rely on just, like, click, shoot, bang, bang, violence to resolve the narrative. Understood. Right, there's, there's a lot of negotiation, there's a lot of conversation, there's a lot of talking, there's a lot of, like, like, other interactions than combat. And the game really does want to sell itself on those. Like, it really does want to explore those ideas, but mechanically, it just doesn't have the tools for it. And should be said also, was not allowed to develop the tools for it because EA really went all in on selling this as like a huge, big, mega AAA event franchise that they could make bank on. EA saddled them with a lot of hard limitations.
Ah, disguising a loading screen. At least it's not squeezing through a tight, narrow passage this time. <laughs> it is a trope that is like, it's one of those things that like squeezing through the tight, narrow passage as a way to disguise a loading screen is like, it's a really good idea because it's the kind of thing that like, if I didn't know that that's what it was, I would never notice it. But the moment you know, the illusion is broken. And you kind of go off. Oh, it it, it, it kind of starts to bother, bother you. Well, it starts to bother me anyway. La da da dee. La da da da. There you go. Uh, be not dead. Ma'am. Girl, you have a gun. <laughs> Take care of the wounded and scavenge what you can. I want us out of here ASAP. Ma'am. You heard the boss. Move it. Ma'am. Looks like we found the Talon leader. Ma'am. My, my. Nyrene, aren't you full of surprises? Arya, the deception was necessary. I needed to figure out what your plans were. The people on Omega depend on us. I couldn't risk compromising our operation. Not exactly standard procedures for a street gang. When Cerberus invaded, the Talons were a mess. I brought new direction. Love her eyes. The general's been hunting us ever since. Right now, he's attacking one of our outposts. That's where I need to be. We're done here, boss. Right. Arya, Commander Shepard, whatever you're here for, the answer's no. Kindly escort yourselves off Talon territory. We're here to help. We'll talk about it after we reach your outpost. That's a generous offer. Arya, does the commander also speak for you? Not the way I would have put it, but that's the idea. All right, then. Come with me. Yeah, but first there was a thing on the ground. I saw a thing on the ground. There was a thing on the ground. And I'm going to pick up the thing on the ground because I want the thing on the ground. Since last I saw you. You noticed the biotic grenades. You always did like blowing things up, given half a chance. Like your relationship that you're clearly still salty over, Arya? Is that what you're talking about? Bitter ex-girlfriends. It's mm, delightful. Anyway. Moving on. Oh, okay. Hmm, probably shouldn't shoot that with the rocket launcher, should I? I guess I have no choice. <laughs> this way. Uh, up here. I'm good. Uh, let's just do that. And then we do this just to... Okay, I have got this. 
I have got this. I have totally got this. Uh, what? Who are we shooting at? Oh, there you are. Funk. Lockdown system's been compromised so many times it hardly knows up from down anymore. Irene to base. Need an engineer. Cat walks in. Door jammed again. This may take a moment. Or closed. Closed is also good. I need to get to my people. Boss. Ooh. Hmm. So Garrus, you remember also, like he's our main Turian character, right? Um, he's all coded in blue, right? Because Garrus is Mr. Paragon, at least in the first game. Like that's how he's initially designed is that he's Mr. Paragon. He's Mr. Like police guy, military fellow, like doing things by the book, by the rules. And you could then sort of gradually corrupt him, <laughs> as it were, um, into becoming much more of a rule breaker, right? And so, um, yes, thank you. Uh, that's not really what I wanted you to do, but. Nyrene is red coded, right? Like she's still the Paragon option, uh, like the sort of, or more Paragon than Arya anyway. Um, but she's sort of like, she's coded all in red. Um, and that sort of gives you like, because she is a gang leader, right? That gives you a different impression of her character. Contrast that with how we meet her when she's all coded in black, like with the hood over her head, which from a character design perspective is like, oh yeah, no, this is a character who's got something to hide. They've got some kind of secret. They're concealing something like that's what those colors are telling us. Now the colors are out in the open and our girl here is out for blood. One thing that is a little bit annoying, I, like much though I appreciate Nyrene and how she looks and everything about her. Um, it is an, an example of like sort of classic cartoon sexual dimorphism that doesn't actually make a lick of god th like it, it's it's kind of silly like oh female turian means more human right like that's sort of the basic thing about her design is that she looks a lot more human than the male turians do um like her crest like the thing on her on her head her crest thing way less expressed she has much less of like the sort of bird like flange thing around the mouth and she's sort of generally a, a little bit of a softer version of the male Turians, which I think is lame. Like, it's it's kind of sucks. And another thing that also, I love her eyes. Like, I think the idea of having, like, like um, mascara or eyeshadow around her eyes is a good one in terms of making her gaze more intense. There's nothing wrong with putting black around her eyes, but why does she have eyelash? <laughs> like, why, why is it this makeup? Why is it that, like, why is it human feminine makeup? like the ones you'd see in a human. And the answer to that, of course, is that this is not really there to function as a part of her character. This is not here to, to world build for the Turians or for Turian culture or for even for Omega culture and how the people who live there like to decorate themselves, how they like to apply makeup, like what they do with their, their personal presentation in terms of gender or whatever. This is here as a visual signifier to say, hey, hey, that's a lady. That's a girl lady. That's a lady girl because of she has the eye shadow with the long wing on the eye because that's what girls have. It's it's lady girl makeup so that, you know, she's the woman one. And that's sort of the function of gender markers and character design is to inform the audience about how to treat the character based on their gender. And there's all kinds of problematic aspects um, that tie into that. Like there's a lot of sexism. There's a lot of like all of that shit that goes into that. It kind of sucks that we don't get to see some artist take a really huge swing at trying to go, okay, 
But what the fuck does Turian makeup look like then? Like, what does it look like when these people try to decorate themselves? What does it look like when, when their culture takes the idea of applying paint and pigmentation to the face that we do here on Earth? Like, what does that look like through their perspective from, like, going by their anatomy? How can we tell stuff about their culture in this way? Like, how do they signify class? And, like, how, how does Turian gender expression even work? That would have been cool to see. Right? Like something that isn't just, oh, no, yeah, this I get this on every sitcom, right? Like this is, I can get this on any other TV, like any other TV show, book or movie that is not set in outer space will show me these exact same versions of gender. It would have been more interesting to see, hey, like what if what if their gender is all weird and fucky and we don't, what if they have nine genders? What if they have one gender only? Like what if the Asari had one gender and it wasn't just human woman? That would be cool, but, you know, here we are. Anyway, ma'am, you, you are, god damn it, you're hot. Um, and I love your we'll character design, but, as as you possible. know. Try not to interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. Look at how, so. Also. Routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. Adjutants? Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Oh, gene stealers. Some kind of Reaper-based weapon. I fought them before they're a nightmare. It got worse after you left. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs, then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Keeping your people alive through that couldn't have been easy. I watched friends get turned into monsters. And I had to kill them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. So, more contrast. Really okay. Under her skin. More contrast being set up between... Okay, I guess I can just point my gun at everyone here. Um, between Arya and uh, Nyreen, right? Like, Arya walked into her base, where we just were, over a corpse, right? Like, she walked over a corpse and was like, I don't give a shit about the corpse because I am renegade. And then Nyreen walks in and is like, people are giving her salutes and she's immediately like, oh, militia, militia, military discipline kind of thing. Um, because she's the paragon, do you see? But she's operating by the rules, by the book. Thank you. I'll make sure they're distributed properly. Do you think we'll make it out of here? Absolutely. Boss is here now. We'll wipe the floor with Cerberus in no time. I'm not going to talk to you yet. From Scouting Team E from Base 2. Word is the attack on the station was led by Arya and that she's on board now. Boss is heading off to investigate. Try to stay out of trouble while she's gone and don't get caught. Our forces are tied down right now, so rescue options are limited. B2T. Oh, Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. You've done an excellent job, Nyreen, but I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. <laughs> and if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. Oh no, we have to take sides between the Paragon and the Renegade. The truth is, none of us can do this alone. Our only chance is to join forces. You might be right, but the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? Nyreen, watch and learn. As everything's in place, the entire station's connected. People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you, they believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. You cannot be beaten, and you will never be controlled. Be ready. 
Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back! That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega. My people. Love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Got it. Oh, well, sucks to be you. Oh, God, the shield pylons. Get mail slotted, idiot. There we go. That's a little bit better. Oh my god, yes, I get it. Stop whining. Commander Shepard, we need your help at the main doors. We're on our way. Okay, uh, just gotta grab some ammo first, thank you. Well, okay then. Can I get on that cannon? Not so much, okay. picked up the wrong sniper rifle. Hmm, doesn't look like I'll be able to... Oh, maybe, maybe. That's it. Ah, darn it. Talons will join your cause. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. <laughs> you see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. No, not at all! Pretty much word for word. She thinks she's playing you. Nothing new here. One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. It really is a little sad that, like, the DLC has to rush so much. Like, we don't get that much time to establish either the villain, Nyrene, Arya, their relationship. Well, it's all a bunch of one-liners being traded back and forth. The Talons will be the frontline fodder. Now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. Which will release Omega's civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. You might not want to compromise your alliance before it even takes shape. I've learned not to put much stock in truth and goodwill. It might be time to start again. Tell you what, I'll take it under advisement. 
Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. Oh, hey, Herod! Things are starting to heat up over here. We need to bring you in, fast. Ruck? Ruck, can you hear me? Damn it, Ruck, don't do that again. I thought I lost your signal. Yeah, well, don't do that again. Urgently, tentative excitement. Welcome to Herod's Emporium, human. Relieved, I am grateful for Arya's return. Hidden back room was getting confining. Her patrol liberated me. Cunningly, I have a plan to recoup my losses since the Cerberus takeover. Informative, the general threw out Arya's couch from afterlife upon taking over. I would like to gain her favor by returning it. Temptingly, if you find it and send me the coordinates, I will make it worth your while. It's not a priority, but I'll keep my eyes open. Appreciative. Upon success, I will give you a finder's fee for your trouble. I'll let you know. Courteously, have a nice day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. I do. High velocity barrel, thank you. Heavy barrel, thank you. Thermal scope, thank you. Don't really need shotgun upgrades, but you know, I'll take the ha ha. Ho ho. Hee <laughs> hee. Relax. I got this. All right. I think I figured out where you are. Oh no. Ruck. You need to head back. Now. You're right in the middle of a server's controlled area. Ruck. Answer me, please. Come on. Ruck. Love. Please answer me. Ruck. Squad leaders are prepping their units. Ready to go in five. Talk to me, As. I've located the source that's powering the Cerberus force fields. Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The General is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. The processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Arya, my patrol caught her in the perimeter. Please. You didn't catch me. We're allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyreen was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyreen. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there too. Shepard, got a second? I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Aria will be joining us soon. Now may be your only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Aria. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me. And I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it could destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity now. 
We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our Asari friend. It can't. I suppose we'll know soon enough. No, I, I'm just telling you, it can't. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... What they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return, I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me. And haunts me. What's your impression of Petrovsky? An adversary worthy of respect. And not just because he's shrewd. But because he plays chess. to organize the Talons. He offered amnesty to anyone who set down their weapon. A few of my people surrendered. And he made good on his word. So he has a code. And as near as I can tell, it doesn't exactly match the elusive man's. See, because he's a worthy adversary, you should find very memorable and interesting. <laughs> How did you get mixed up with Arya? I was happy in the Turian military. But when my biotic abilities started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people. So I quit. I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. How close were you two? The draw was undeniable. Her strengths mirrored my insecurities. Maybe deep down it was the same for her. But trying to be with her turned into trying to be her. Irene Kandros was vanishing. You seem like your own person to me. For all the drama between us? I'm grateful to Arya. She helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her. But I regret nothing. I appreciate it, Nairene. We're heading out soon. I'll be ready. Like, again, the relationship between those two, that would have been so nice to be able to explore that in more than just, hey, here's a quick summary. Commander. There you go, that'll do. processing plants. It's been powered down, so we'll have to pry open the door. I'll get it. Access to the mine should be on the far side. And the reactor is beyond that? According to the schematics, I ran Omega and Irene. I didn't work the mines myself. No, you had indentured servants for that. Spirits. Relax. They're all Cerberus. Yeah, but who killed them? They've been ripped to shreds. Ah, adjutants. I don't like this. Welcome to the horror chapter of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. More dead. It's a bloodbath. Got bad feeling. We shouldn't be quiet. What's that sound? It's a dog. An adjutant. No, oh, no. The general must have locked this place down to keep it inside. Just going to make sure there isn't a nice little thing lying around for me to pick up. No? Fair enough. The elevator to the mines is through that door. It's deactivated. Then we need to power this place up. There should be a master circuit breaker somewhere. Don't kid yourself. I've seen one of those things take down a squad of soldiers. Down this ladder. Whoop. 
There's the power control. When this is over, there'll be a lot of repairs to make. I hope you'll focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. That's one thing we have in common. Oh, hey! Oh, come on! It's very annoying the way that you'll just kind of be forced to miss sometimes. All that build up <laughs> and again it's because of the way that the like the it's kind of like you, you remember the fight with Kai Ling right like where he's supposed to be this really difficult boss fight because he's regenerating a shield chain. and I was just kind of wiping the floor with him because all I had to do was put pressure on like uh, on like his health and armor consistently even though I was playing on like like the hardcore mode or yeah hardcore mode I think I was on and that's where is it at Oh, there you are. Hey. And that's kind of the same thing with a lot of, like, the boss enemies in this game, is that... that Ultimately, because the, of the way that, like, this, this game is programmed so much about, like, layers of health bar... Um, Where you like strip off health from 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 enemies, and then like you strip off the barrier, then the armor, and then the whatever. Um, there's a hard limit to how dangerous and how like menacing you can actually make an enemy from a mechanical perspective, without just making them like massive bullet sponges, which arguably they kind of are already. And it's like, within the confines of what the game can actually do, there's a pretty hard limit to how dangerous they can actually be. I think we got them all. Let's try the elevator again. Stay alert. All right, into the elevator. I'll seal the door. Just in case. On to the mines. What's eating you? Just processing. It's clear the general sealed that area to keep the adjutants in. Along with some unlucky soldiers. Yes. The creatures killed them, but didn't turn them into more adjutants. Can't shake it. Something's off. You're just spooked. There's a rhythm to this place, Arya. To Cerberus. If he'd stuck it out here, maybe you'd feel it too. Whatever's in our way, we deal with it. Damn it. They shouldn't be straining like that. Cerberus must be working them hard. <laughs> Access to the reactor is somewhere on the upper level. Let's find a way up there. Glowing rocks? That always means good things. That's probably fine. Oh, I want that shield pylon just deactivated, please. Would you please? 
Thank you. Jeez. Looks like that goes under the conveyor belt. Heavy barrel. Thank you. Oh god. Again. Whoa! There's an emesis. There we go. I think this is going to get us there. Okay. Coming through! Oh my god. Ah, the stopping power on this thing. Who's shooting at me? You're shooting at me. They know our target. Expect heavy reinforcements. Just stay focused and find the access point to the reactor. Yeah. I will say they put a lot of work into these environments. These are gorgeous. Like, not, you know, not pretty in the conventional sense, but, like, pay attention to the way that they use the light in the environment. And contrast. Looks like Cerberus invaded here. Killed everyone. Now we're paying them back in kind. I'm sure your dead workers feel much better now. Ooh. Okay, now, what do we do? That looks a little closed. Oh, well. So close, yet so far. Right, see what I mean? The way they use light? Like, you have this orange, brownish, reddish color that sort of dominates the whole space, and then contrast, big blue light to sort of create a coldness and a contrast that draws your eye. Oh, I like this. This is cool. I'm sure it's fine. Why are you grinning, Arya? We're almost there. When the force fields come down, this war finally begins. For some of us, it started months ago. That wasn't war, babe. That was just warm up. If you sense that I'm not, you know, the most engaged I've ever been with Mass Effect 3, it's because... There's the reactor. Straight ahead. Oh, that's what that is? Um, it's because I just, I, I've never liked this DLC. That's why I've never played, I haven't played it like more than once or twice. Because it really is just like this very headlong rush to get you to care about some characters that it never really actually has the time. Oh, okay. Um, to get you invested in. Guess who's going to show up to monologue? I commend you. Your plan of attack was impeccable. Looks like we were expected. More like lured. I knew the reactor would be the hard target. I gave you no choice but this route. Stop masturbating. 
Why don't you do this in person, Petrovsky? Get your own hands dirty. I take no pleasure in any of this, Commander. You're the ones trying to start a war for the glory of Arya. But now it's over. This isn't over until your next of kin can't identify you. I love your bravado, but have the sense to know when you're beaten. You've been neutralized, and I can leave you there to rot. You might as well give up. Never! Arya, what are you thinking? I'm not going out like this! Arya, don't! What the hell is she trying to do? Damn it, Arya, you're forcing my hand. Do it your way then. Nirene, Max. Oh no. Hell unpredictable. Okay, I kinda like that. I kind of like that. I do like that. Gives it an AoE, which is quite nice. Okay, if you could maybe be not in close combat with them, that would probably be good for all of us. Fucking hell is a lot of them. Wow, now they die in one shot. Spirits, Arya. How did you know you could do that? I didn't. Well. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's grab some med kit. Okay. All the enemies are that way, right? Shepard, there's no let up. The next just keep coming. Stay alive over there. Pretty good rifle. Who you're 
looking for, Shepard. She doesn't care who gets hurt. Neither do you, dipshit. She'd just thrown thousands of lives away. Shepard, Nareen's down. I'm stabilizing. You can't reroute power in time. Hit the fucking overload. Now. This shouldn't be that hard. Maybe something inside is holding you back. Maybe deep down you're starting to think the galaxy might be better off without her. She's never going to learn. She'll never change. Even if you win, Omega loses. Enough. Again, the game is working really hard to try and establish a rapport, like a, a dynamic with Petrovsky that he's sort of trying to speak to, like, internal insecurities and shit. Um, so be it. But it doesn't work because, like, where the f where do you get off trying to psychoanalyze me? You've known me for two seconds, you dickhead. And I have no reason to give a shit about his opinion, right? Because there is no dynamic. I care about the elusive... I have the fucking chessboard. I care about the elusive man, right? Like, the elusive man's opinion is interesting. Like, the, the way that there's a dynamic with Shepard... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, the dynamic there with Shepard is great, but, you know. Despite your best efforts to kill me... Your soft heart almost cost me everything. Quiet, Aria. It worked. Shepard saved us without sacrificing innocent lives. I applaud her. I suppose. Whatever. You fought bravely against those mechs in there, Nyreen. Very impressive. But? Why can't you bring that same grit when adjutants attack? It's pathetic. You tense up at the mere mention of those abominations. Lay off. She just saved you. I'm trying to help her, Shepard. Call it tough love. The war's starting. I don't mean to miss it. She's never been big on thank yous. That too, right? Like, there's a dynamic here between between Irene and Arya. Um, where, like, clearly, like, Arya clearly still cares for Irene. Um, and Irene cares for her. There's still the... All force fields down. Civilians taking to the streets in droves. Cerberus pulling back. That won't last. The people don't have the training to go up against Cerberus front lines. They'll be wiped out. Civilian casualties can't be avoided. You'll have to accept this. Say what you will, Arya. I won't allow senseless deaths. Do what you can to protect them. Of course, Commander. Arya, we're right here. Report. My team is scouting the maintenance tunnels. We've encountered Cerberus forces. Bray, engage. Delay them as long as you can. We're coming. Got it. Roll out, people. If they detonate the main column, they'll cut off the way to afterlife. The Talon offensive will be stopped cold. So we split up. Yes. Nyreen, lead the frontal assault. Shepard and I will meet you in the markets after we've taken care of those bombs. Of course. But don't count on me building your memorials if you get yourselves killed. I like it when you're feisty. Right? Like, there's clearly still a thing there. They the still have a thing for each other. The but they can't really express it. Like, it, it's it's all kind of... It's all there, but it, they have to rush through it so fast. Like, they really have to speed through it. Because they just don't... There just isn't time in this little short DLC. Which is built entirely out of combat encounters. There just isn't time. There isn't allowance for, like, any more significant character exploration. Oh, it really isn't effective against armor.
Yeah, yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. We've engaged servers and cleared our first target. ETA to the Gozu district is on track. Excellent. <laughs> Shepard, we need to get to the central column before Cerberus sets off those bombs. Whee! Magic disappearing helmet. <laughs> We have to stop them. I know, Arya. That's what we've been doing. Over there. We can get to the bomb controls once the access panels are open. Like imagine if bombs just went the console is locked. We'll have to manually disable them. Imagine if, if Petrov, right, if he had been like a recurring character before in Mass Effect 2, right? Like if he if he'd been like a, a snarky, annoying Cerberus guy, or maybe someone like with whom you had like a, a like a, a relationship of like mutual respect or something. Um So that you had some kind of reason to care about your recurring conversation here. Of course, it's very hard to plan that kind of... Okay, 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 okay. It's very hard to plan that kind of DLC, like, um... Like, that far ahead in such a way. Okay, uh, let's try and get to that bomb. That's one. Just skedaddle. One to go. Be a little quick about it. Ah, oh, fucking. Shepard, I'm trying to tell you to use a fucking ability. Well, this is slightly frustrating. And of course, it just has a clean line of sight on me there. Great. Not dead yet. Heesh. We're clear. Good. Nyreen, things are under control here. What's your situation? We're advancing to the Gozu district. 
Move forward. Keep that flank covered. Yes, boss. We're holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Save those you can, and head for the rendezvous point. We'll meet you there. We'll do what we can. Nyrene out. So, how exactly do we get to afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach for a change. I'm sure it wasn't ventilating anything important. Conveniently, every important thing in Omega is located- oh, Jesus! Approximately 500 feet away from each other, at all times. Good. Looks like they bit off more than they could chew. We should get a move on. Huh. Looks like they brought them here. Population contained. We should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. The first generation adjutants have been transferred from the containment area and are being outfitted with the implants. Previous batches have been processed and moved to the storage area. We can now control when and where the adjutants convert their victims. Initial testing on various species provides ample proof the virus can adapt flawlessly, regardless of the host used. With the civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host can with the current success ratio, we project me. Those idiots were experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. High priority memo. Test adjutants have escaped. They are to be rounded up and transferred to Central HQ's holding area post haste. Damage is to be avoided at all costs under the penalty of severe combat pay deductions. Extra security. The doors only open one at a time. Makes sense considering what they had locked up in here. Doors unlocked. Let's get out of here. That doorway leads to the Gozu district. Look out! Oh no. That's okay, that's an atlas. And that's a sniper also. Great, wonderful, fantastic. Okay. AI really not equipped to handle this. <laughs> He's a he they're they're not on the same level as me. What am I supposed to do? Walk around awkwardly without shooting.
Obviously, that dialogue will change depending on whether or not you've uh, gotten Morden killed yet. It is kind of nice to be back here, though. Well, less nice now. We're almost there. There we go. Somewhat more successful version of that fight. <laughs> Don't need to do nothing with the weapon. And the only chance at redemption lies in the word. Okay, well, worth a shot. For the blight that is humanity stains all. Well, I mean, I guess it's nice to see that he's doing well. Station, of course something's not right. Not what I was talking about. I'm checking this out. Going radio silent. What the hell is she doing? Where's Nirene? Scouting ahead. We've got our hands full holding this area. She's going on to afterlife. How do you, what? How do you figure that? Okay, well. Why am I getting so many Windows notification sounds? It's quite annoying. You guys can't shoot for shit. Oh, okay. Just running up into the air like that. Kandros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. It's a shame she had to die in such a shitty scene. Okay, Arya, that was... Again... Keeps making Arya look like a moron. Kandros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. He was fully under The prototypes for our future army. Hold the perimeter. Keep away from those generators. 
So, uh, what do we do? Pick this up, and then we just blast that thing. Yeah. Try not to get blown up by a grenade. And try not to do that. Okay. Thank you, Arya. I'd like a squat mate very badly. Thank you. Okay, probably gonna have to deal with you. Okay, that should make it a little easier. If nothing else, because I have someone else to draw the fire. Anyway, let's kill him. Cease and desist all aggression. It's over. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> we ended the chess game blur. Shepherd, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. Shepard, I'm unarmed. And I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. You'll say anything to save your skin. I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Arya? Yes. Cerberus had successfully taken the station and he let me go. Do you feel that, Oleg? That's death. Only inches away. Remember this feeling. I'm letting you live. For my partner and for the war against your master. his fate. Just get this filth off my station. Commander, glad to see you've had a calming effect on Ms. Talok. I tried talking sense into her one time. I look forward to hearing how you pulled it off. Don't assume you know where this is going. What? From what I understand, high-ranking of Now that I've seen what you're capable of firsthand, maybe Arya's instincts were right. So, you're going to execute me? I'm your prisoner. You can't just... Turns out, yes, I can. After all he's done, it's too risky to let him live. Ha. Huh. Look who's the hard-ass now. Priceless. Bray, clean up this mess. Yeah, no, sorry. D you're not compelling. I'm not interested in you. <laughs> like, go fuck yourself. Anyway, justice for Nyrene. I was starting to think you were rubbing off on me, Shepard, but... 
Maybe it was the other way around. Don't get the wrong idea. It's time you turned over a new leaf. Millions are suffering here, and many pay the ultimate price. I hope you'll honor them. Freedom isn't enough? Tell you what. I'll write myself a memo. And don't worry, I honor my debts. You'll have all the troops, ships, and Izo that I promised. Then I'll be going. Bray will take you back. I have a station to whip into shape. Anyway, yeah, Nyrene had the worst death in the game. Like... Citizens of Omega, hear me. I, Arya Talok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... ...and we will cast them from our home. Then bury and mourn our dead. My methods haven't always been popular, and I can't promise that will change. But securing this station and everyone inside it is now my primary purpose. No one will imprison us again. We may be bruised. We may be bloodied. Our Omega. You always get these crap details, Bray? <laughs> Not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock. Thanks. Just like Nyrene's death scene is garbage. It's it's shit. It is genuinely one of the worst things. Because it's just like, oh, there some like they try to set up this thing where she has like a fear of adjutants or like some kind of trauma related to them. And that relates back to some external I think it was a comic that they released where Nyrene was like a character and the other was like a fighting adjutants and shit. Like that's sort of trying to pay that off. But then all it is is like Oh, she's gone on ahead, and then... Uh, oh, adjutants, they are there now, because... And um, civilians, oh no, they're, they've already killed, like, all of them. All of the civilians are already dead. And then she runs in, and it's like, uh, grenade belt, I'm gonna blow myself up, bye! And that's it. Like, there's no... It never... There's no sense of resolution. Like, this is not... Anything like, uh, like, you know, what, like when, when Morden dies, that's like the natural conclusion to his character arc. It's the conclusion to the story that's been told about this character. It's like him finally taking responsibility for what he did with the genophage. Like he, he's taking responsibility for it. He's ensuring that his mistakes are undone. He's grow he's growing as a person. He's coming to a conclusion of what, what, like what his story is. Same thing with Legion. Like before Legion dies, it sort of comes to the conclusion of it's of there. Um, of his uh, story arc where like becomes a fully realized person and that's the moment when they have to sort of say goodbye and so on. That's all good, right? But then Nyrene is just like, hey, th here's a character. She has a dynamic with Arya that's quite interesting. They have former lovers, I guess. And then they banter and then she's dead. There's no character arc. Like, there's no sense, for example, like the, the, the thing you would want is the sense that, okay, she's overcoming her fear of the adjutants. Like, she's no longer petrified of them. She's confronting them. She's facing her fear. She's overcoming, like, the pro like the adjutants as, as like, a, 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 a petrifying trauma in her life. She's overcoming them. She's facing them down, and she's finally, like, free from this fear by... And you can sort of do that with a self-sacrifice play, but it's like she sacrificed herself for fuck all. For nothing. Like, they, they, the civilians were already dead by the time she got there, and then she was surrounded, and then it was just like... Yeah, but suicide explosion, I guess. And, like, the game tries so hard. Like, she gives, like, this meaningful look towards the camera as though she's saying goodbye. But it's like, it doesn't land because it's just, oh, yeah, she she was with us and now she's dead. <laughs> so you can see why I don't, yeah. I'm not overly fond of, of this DLC. Shepard, I had Petrovsky's chessboard sent to the Normandy. It does... Just doesn't go with a new decor I've planned for Afterlife. Yay! Well, that... Wow, his iconic chessboard that we were so fond of. Yeah. Uh, Grace Sato. 
Commander Shepard, just want to say how indebted I am to you, not just for saving my life, but for giving me a greater sense of purpose. After our ordeal securing the array base on Entoram, I now have something more than my technical expertise to offer. Good for you, little miss side quest person. Commander. But no, yeah, that was the, uh, that was the Aria Omega DLC. A, a, a thing where there's, like, some really nice environments... Some cool combat scenarios. Like, I I was frustrated during the fight in, in Afterlife, obviously, because it's really fucking hard, but it was also a good combat encounter. Like, there was a lot of, of, of fun to be had there. I liked the adjutants as opponents, even if they can't be quite as dangerous and intimidating as the story wants them to be. And also, they're paying off some shit from a comic book that, like, 90% of the audience will never have fucking read in their lives, which makes them kind of lame. But yeah, it's... Uh, I... I really like Nyrene. I really like her as a counterbalance to Arya. She would have been a million times more interesting if she had lived. And could, like, if her and Arya would actually have to sort of, like, either reignite their relationship and be like, okay, we'll run Omega together. Or sort of be parted as, as like, rival leaders of Omega sort of fighting for control in the aftermath of the Serpers. And they, like, anything would have been more interesting than just, oh, yeah, no, uh, boom, now she's dead. She does... She's just dead now because of it. Just the ha a thing happened in a cutscene, so now now she's not. She can't be around anymore. Uh, so yeah, not my favorite DLC in the game. Not what I was planning to do in this particular episode. But now it's out of the way, and now we can move on. There is better DLC coming, my friends. This I promise you. But if you've enjoyed hanging out in the world of Mass Effect with me for an exceptionally long period of time for this particular episode. Then you can hit the like, comment, and or subscribe buttons down below, and that'll let you know when more episodes are coming out. You can become a member of the channel to get early access to episodes of stuff that goes up here before everyone else. And that's all the self-promotion I have to do. Thanks for watching. Remember to be kind to one another, have solidarity with those who are worse off than yourselves, and may the tides of history wash gently over us all. <laughs>